Shoshana here from Nourish Property. As of the 21st of April, we have been advised that the Residential Tenancy Act amendments for COVID-19 have now passed Parliament. The COVID-19 Act will regulate how tenancies are managed up until the 30th of September. This may be reviewed after that date. I wanted to give you a brief rundown on these changes so that you know where you stand with your tenancy. The first item I wanted to discuss was the moratorium on evictions for six months. There is an exception here for a situation when a tenant's value to pay rent is not directly linked to COVID-19 financial hardship. Other exceptions may include domestic violence, damage to the property, or situations where a lessor is experiencing undue hardship. The next item we wanted to discuss was a ban on rent increases during the COVID-19 emergency period. Rent payable by all tenancies cannot be increased during the COVID-19 emergency period. This includes leases that are already in place that have a rent review clause. The next item we wanted to discuss was that any tenancy falling due to expire during the COVID-19 emergency period was to revert to periodic. We have been advised that the tenant and the lessor can actually renew their lease on a fixed term tenancy if they both agree. In situations where the tenant and the lessor do not agree to sign another fixed term lease, it will revert to periodic, but the rent cannot be increased. The next item we wanted to discuss was landlords' responsibilities for non-urgent maintenance and repairs. Under the changes, landlords are not obligated to undertake non-urgent maintenance repairs at the property if they are experiencing hardship due to COVID-19. A landlord's responsibility to undertake urgent repairs still remains the same. The next point we wanted to discuss was enabling tenants to end their lease agreement without incurring break lease fees. During the COVID-19 emergency period, a tenant can give the lessor 21 days notice to end their fixed term tenancy if they are experiencing COVID-19 hardship. Tenants will still be liable for damage and rent arrears. So what happens to any outstanding rent at the end of the emergency period? This remains a debt owing by the tenants to the lessor. If you would like any more information or if you have any questions, please contact me. I'm Shoshana from Nourish Property.